What's up, guys? Good morning. It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. So I wanted to talk about something that I don't talk about a lot necessarily, other than just kind of saying, I'm bipolar, blah, blah, blah. This video is actually going to be steered towards kind of signs of bipolar as well as coping or living with somebody with bipolar, okay? So first of all, I would like to say if you uh, have not been diagnosed um, by a doctor and you don't show actual signs of it, please do not use it as a general statement just to kind of make excuses for the stuff you do in life. Okay, so first of all, saying you're bipolar and actually being bipolar are two totally different things. So make sure the trendy thing of saying I'm bipolar you know because they say it in a lot of songs and stuff like that it's become the thing to do thing to be thing to say okay so I'll be the first one to say being bipolar is slightly miserable okay um, now it obviously depends on how severe your bipolar is um, and what type of bipolar you have there's different types some people have mania some people don't some people have mood swings some people have depression some people um, are just always angry um, some people don't have depression some people have anxiety some people have um, spells in which they are extremely manic -y, um, and some people don't really have that many at all so I'll f say first of all, if you're watching this, you probably are bipolar. And the reason I say that is because a lot of people are going to probably search out on the internet um, how to cope or how to deal with somebody that is bipolar or how to live with somebody that is bipolar. I was actually just talking about this with my sister because she's convinced that my mom has Alzheimer's. <laughs> it's not Alzheimer's, it's bipolar. Um, my mom is has and always will be bipolar and I believe from the research I've done because I was diagnosed pretty young so I was able to kind of dive into it and really kind of dig around probably way too far into what's going on with me and what um, what it entails and what it means to be bipolar what it means to live with being bipolar what it means to be medicated what it means to be taking so much medication you don't want to live anymore um, what it means to be off medication, what it means when uh, you... Okay, so, first of all, being bipolar is not the end of the world, okay? Um, when I was younger, I was medicated from age 3 to approximately age 20s, in my mid-20s, um, for ADHD. And then realized um, probably transformed into something else and I started inhibiting signs of being bipolar my aggression was through the roof it's it's very strange dealing with somebody that's bipolar because obviously just like unique characteristics of a person um, we are all different um, I'm gonna turn this off so I can focus First of all, if you are bipolar, I recommend um, you see a doctor. Be very careful about your um, diagnosis. Be very careful about the medications you're taking. Um, just like with weight loss or any type of thing you're trying to achieve, whether it's like mental health stability or just whatever your goal is, um, it could be having friends or having friendships you know a lot of the times I joke around and I say I don't have friends blah 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 and unfortunately it's probably not um, because I don't want friends it's just I don't I've never really figured out how to Hold friendships I freak out and I push people away and I get pissed off or whatever and I just block them out of my life and it's a horrible thing and I really want to cut that cycle so some obvious signs of people being bipolar would be they're extremely manicky when you're around somebody that has a ton of energy 24 7 
um, that could just be a really energetic person. Um, if uh, being bipolar is strange, so it's kind of like in a manic episode, if I'm expressing manic episode. So if you're with somebody that has like gambling problems, drug problems, um, if you're with somebody that seems to be like they're on something, but they're not, it could definitely be bipolar. Um, things like um, gambling, things like um, spending frivolously. So if you hand me, if I'm in a manic episode and you hand me a thousand dollars next week, I may not know or have any clue where all thousand dollars went or maybe $750. I won't be able to account for it mentally because it's almost like being out of your own mind. And then when you come back down to reality and sometimes you never really know what it, I'm going to, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you some pictures. Okay. Um, some pictures of my room. <laughs> And pictures of my room are a direct reflection of how my thought process is, okay? So right now it's actually clean. I spent like four hours right now cleaning. Um, but the pictures I'll put here, hopefully, right here. Um, I have to remind myself, if I ever get the pictures, please tell me. Um, it's, it's absolute chaos. Um, having to do with... I have bipolar one disorder with severe mania, which means um, for every for every thought that you have, um, it's like and I'm just talking. I'm sorry if I'm not in any straight fashion or whatever. So in a minute, in one minute, if you have ten thoughts, um, uh, somebody with severe mania may have. A thousand or a hundred thousand or a million, a million thoughts. Um, our minds are constantly racing, 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 racing. But somebody that is bipolar, maybe depression, may be completely different. I can't really speak on that. Um, um, things like you have to understand, not necessarily that people that are bipolar are sad. Um, but I can go from being extremely angry to extremely happy and then crying all in a literal 60 seconds. And I sometimes it can take a toll on me, but more importantly, if you are living with somebody that's bipolar, it can take a toll on you. If you are living with somebody that's bipolar, I personally recommend that you work on yourself a lot and I'm not saying that you're doing anything wrong because you're not meaning give yourself time to do things that you love talk to the person that is bipolar if the person does not understand their bipolar and does not want to reason with you which could be people like me um, explain to them um, that you do need to do these things, whether it's like yoga or meditation or walking through the forest or getting out of that element or something like that. Because knowing, you know, knowing who I am and what I have and everything, being around somebody that is bipolar, like, for instance, I'm a very mania person. I'm constantly boom, 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 boom. And if I'm not going, 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 I'm sleeping. I'm not, I'm not going, 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 going. I'm sleeping. <laughs> so there's no really any in between. A lot of the times when I, I'll post quotes or I'll do this, I'll do that, blah, 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 blah. But people are like, there's something wrong with you? No, it's just, it, 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 it's it's bipolar. <laughs> you know, it's, it's it's up, it's down, it's up, it's down, it's up, it's down, it's crying, it's sad, it's angry, it's mad, it's happy, it's blah, 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 blah. That's, that's like literally what it's like. So sometimes I'm just going through the motions of my mind, you know, and and living with somebody that is that or has that going on for them. And if you don't have that going on for them, then you must be obviously the most understanding person on the planet, first of all. Um, but aside from that, you really need to make sure you take care of yourself because living with that 24-7 can be extremely taxing mentally. I will say when I was married... Um, I did not realize the effects that it was having on my ex-wife and the family and stuff like that. And 
Maybe that's part of why I have not gotten into something. Again, I'm scared that I will repeat that process and I don't want to put others under that stress. Now, I will say in 2019, I really want to focus on not building friendships because I'm really good at building friendships. I want to try to create lasting friendships. Friendships. So if any of you guys are listening to this, please be my friend for a long time and understand that if I get mad at you or I get angry, just it's not, I don't know what does it, why it happens necessarily. Just know that I want you in my life and um, I do my best. I really do. Um, it's just, now that I think back of it, it's like really freaking shitty. I've like destroyed so many friendships. Like a lot of friendships. And I probably need to make some phone calls and apologize for that. But, and that's what I mean. Like, just thinking about, you know, the people that I've lost or whatever, and the people that I've put through things is really difficult to. It's difficult to understand because I feel like I'm doing everything right. I really do. And you get stuck on this high, like you're on top of the world. And then you realize when you come down, you have nobody left because you felt so great pushing everybody out and all these things. And then you realize like, and I'm just realizing it now there's now that I think about it like there's been like literal years of people I can think of like 10 people this year that I've just like shoved out and there's probably only like one or two people that understand and people you know a lot of the times will call me crazy or I'm, I'm a freaking lunatic or you can't trust John because you never know what he's gonna say or do or whatever, you know, I didn't pick, you know, to be this person. And I'm not saying like, I'm upset or whatever that I'm this person. But just remember, if you do have somebody that is bipolar in your life, it can be really difficult to deal with. And just also please remember that they don't necessarily know what's happening all the time. You know, they're almost like a puppet of their own mind. And, you know, they get wrapped up in the emotions. Can you imagine? Can you imagine like thinking the hundred, say you're a stressed out normal person that doesn't really have anything going on. Maybe you have like some slight things or whatever, but you got regular stresses and you got the kids and you got this and you got that. But then you have somebody that's bipolar. And if you bring a tiny little issue to somebody that's bipolar, they, a lot of the times like myself, I don't know how to deal with it. You know, I just snap and I pop and I just blow up and a lot of the times to be able to see if somebody's bipolar, if you come to somebody that is bipolar that doesn't know they're bipolar, I would be very careful about suggesting that they are um, because it can go one of two ways um, usually. <laughs> and I say one of two ways because it can go really bad or we can go really good. So, and it can go overly good or overly bad. So if it goes really good, they could say, you know what? Yep, I'm bipolar. And then they can make an excuse for literally everything in their life. I'm bipolar. I can't do that. I'm bipolar. That's why I did that. I'm bipolar. I did that. And then they literally take no accounting for nothing. Like, they're not accountable for anything. They take no responsibility. Ah, this is because I'm bipolar. Or it can go really bad and they can hate you. And you don't want a bipolar person hating you, okay? Because if you tell somebody that they're bipolar and they are bipolar and they're not ready to know that, they're pushing you out. Like you're on the way. You might as well pack your shit because you are good as gone. Okay. And that is for anybody. Living with somebody with bipolar is extremely difficult because of the mood swings, because of the inconsistency in their behavior. Um, I may love you one second and I may hate you five seconds later. And, and then I may be laughing. You may be cracking up and you're like, why am I crying? I don't understand. What is this? And it's hard. 
it's hard being bipolar. It's hard being around people that are bipolar. It's, but never think that you can't overcome things because you can. And coping with being bipolar is difficult if you're on the receiving end and also difficult if you are the person. Probably more so for the person on the receiving end. Somebody that is living with somebody that with, with the bipolar, is bipolar, maybe you, um, can find it much more difficult than the person that is actually bipolar. Because even though the bipolar person is putting themselves through financial ruin or relationship problem, or whatever, 90% of the time, they're not really the one going through it. <laughs> like I said, they're a puppet of their own mind. So they're just kind of along for the ride, you know? And the person that is on the other end is not bipolar. And they're the ones a lot of the times that suffer. They go through the hardship. They go through the struggle. They go through, I'm sorry about the angle of the camera. It's all bright, I know. So if you know that you're bipolar, I would say work on some things. And I would say work on friendships. Work on relationships. Work on how you respond to others. Um, work on your finances. Make sure before you make, if you ever think about spending over 20 bucks, and I say that because bipolar people can spend $15 25 times over. If you ever think about spending everything over, or anything over 20 bucks, you do this. You grab an envelope, you put the 20 bucks in there, or you put the idea in there, meaning you write down, I want to buy this, I want to buy this, I want to buy this thousand dollar watch or whatever and you were going to be able to put it on a credit card or something like that pop it in the envelope set it on your nightstand and date it date it for 30 days and then write on there don't write anything okay just put in the envelope don't revisit it and say open on this date and then put the date in 30 days revisit it hundred thousand dollars i'll bet you right now <laughs> that you won't even remember there's an envelope there, okay? Because you're manicky a lot of the times. And it may very well be a valid purchase, but do this to be able to get rid of all those manicky things because I could spend a million dollars in a day. I could, I really could, you know? And it's something that I deal with on a regular basis and it's difficult for me, okay? And it's probably why I still live at my mom's house. And there's no excuse for that. I know that, I know, I know. Be stronger than your excuses. And I am working on getting myself out of debt and things like that. I just got a credit card paid off for the first time. Hallelujah. Um, but I'm working on things myself as well. But a lot of the times dealing with this type of situation, um, first of all, two generations ago, as far as like the baby boomers, 50, 60, 70 years old, whatever, it's going to be look as very macabre to be bipolar and things like that. And it wasn't like pushed on them very heavily. So if they're medicated, it's probably like a misdiagnosis or something because they just don't understand. So they're telling the doctor one thing, okay? Then you got the next generations, 40s, 30s, 30s, 40s. They know a lot more about medical issues, but they are pushed so heavily on the ideas of um, giving you more medication, giving you more medication, giving you more medication. But they do understand the imbalances a lot more. But it's just overload of medication. So the first one's not good. The second one's not. It's better. But then now you have the 20s. The 15, 20 year olds, whatever. Now it's trendy. It's cool to be ADHD. It's cool to do this. It's cool to do that. They're all self medicating and stuff like that. And it's, it's, it's awesome to be gothic. It's awesome. And no, that was a bad word. It's awesome to be, you know, lonely or sad or whatever. You've got this whole mumble rapper thing and stuff. Everybody's like, oh, I feel like suicide. Blah blah blah. I just need to take some pills and take some Xanny bars. Blah 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 blah. That's even worse because they not only do, are they not even caring about trying to understand actually what's going on with them, 
but now you know the music and things and like that are just pushing it on them really heavy so they're starting to feel that more without actually getting the help they're just popping pills because whatever and maybe even a lot of the times they're not even being prescribed they're just doing it because they feel some kind of weird void or whatever so there's three really bad stages now as far as like learning abilities and I'm not saying that you fit into one of those perfectly I'm just saying what I see from the outside okay because I have kids that age I'm not stupid you know I have kids that are bipolar I have bipolar myself my mom was bipolar my grandfather was bipolar like I'm not stupid I see the whole trending and I've focused on it and I've done 10 plus years of studies of or of research on my own and everything that's happening in my life the people in my life how I've come about to get it and everything like that Do your best to do what works best for you, okay? What works best for me is not taking the medication. Although, I will say, and I'm going to be the first one to tell you this, that is probably one of the worst things you can do. When you're manic, I don't want to say this, when you're manic, and if you suffer from severe mania and you're having a manic episode, you feel like you're kind of on drugs. And it's like a drug because you're so high, you're like so energetic. Because if you ever see somebody that's manic, you think, gosh, what are they on? How do they get all that energy? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Would you want to come down from that? You know what I mean? Would you want to stop that? But here's the thing. For me, for me, when I take medication, I feel like dying. I don't feel like being alive. And I'm not saying make that excuse yourself because everybody's different. I know some very amazing people that have flourished and done really well under medical supervision and done well with medication and responded very well through it. I don't. I respond well through diet and exercise. I work out every single day. I make sure I'm eating right as much as I possibly can. I'm making sure I drink water. I'm making sure I'm not doing drugs. I'm not self-medicating. If I do self-medicate, it's positive things, good things for my body. My body. Um, sometimes I probably exercise a little too much, whatever, but um, that's a lot better. Uh, some other things that I would recommend that you don't do if you are bipolar or if you know people that are bipolar, you can't tell a bipolar person what to do, first of all, because this just doesn't work like that. You can tell them what to do, but in five seconds, they're going to do something different. <laughs> if you are bipolar and you're watching this, stop drinking alcohol. If you're bipolar and you're watching this, stop doing drugs. I don't care if it's weed. I don't care if it's pills. I don't care if it's meth. I don't care if it's crack, if it's coke, if it's heroin, if it's freaking gypsum weed, acid, mushrooms, whatever it is. Stop. Okay, you're self-medicating. If you're a smoker, stop smoking, okay? Any of these things that are altering your chemicals inside your body are bad. Your chemicals are already completely jacked, okay? You do not need to alter your mind any more than you already are. Plus, if you're bipolar, you're probably taking everything you do to the extreme, okay? I'm an Aries and I'm bipolar. So it's like extreme times 5,000, you know, people don't know, you know, what that means necessarily, but it's, it's, it's tough. So anything you do, you're going to take to the extreme back away from those things. If, if you like drinking, do what you want. You're a damn adult. I don't care. I'm telling you, but if you realize you're drinking too much, if you realize you're doing drugs too much, if you realize you're smoking too much, back away from those things. Eat healthy too much, exercise too much, be positive too much, work on yourself too much, do research on how you could be a better person too much. If you start seeing these trends, start working in a positive direction. I don't care if you do it too much. I'd rather you pull the muscle from running too much than drinking too much or doing too many drugs and getting yourself locked up or something like that. Please. Focus on remembering that your chemicals inside your mind, your serotonin and your dopamine levels are just pouring in just crazy ways that you cannot control. Therefore, if you're putting something else in there that alters that, 
caffeine, too much of that, too much of all kinds of things. Just be really careful, okay? A lot of those things can trigger you. If you're sad for too long, could be because of what's going on. You could be in a depressive episode. If you're manicky and you're spending money like crazy, rein it in and sit down and be like, dude, this is too much. Bipolar people can literally go from being on the top of the world financially to being homeless in five seconds. So it's really important that you do focus on these things and remember that it's not a game. You're not playing with anything but your own future, okay? If you guys have any questions, I hope this helps understand a little bit of what's going on with myself and others. Maybe their loved ones, maybe their kids, maybe their family or something like that. A couple things that you can do to help yourself is try to create structure. You have a daily system that you do each day. Um, I recommend, and I've said this a lot, and people laugh so hard. People laugh when I say brush your teeth and shave your face. Take a shower. You don't understand what I mean by that. When you're in a bipolar episode, you don't focus on those things. I might sit here in front of the computer and work 24-7 for five, six days, and it's I do nothing. Nothing, okay? I seclude myself and I start feeling drugged down and I start getting depressed and start going into this dark place in my mind. Get up, worry about personal hygiene, wash your clothes, do things like that. I'm not reminding you because you're an idiot. I'm not reminding you because you're slow. I'm reminding you because those are the things that are going to perk you up and make you feel good again sometimes when you're in a sad state. Um, and a lot of the times we let those simple things slip our minds. So please focus on that. Also, like I said, if you can create a structure, I wake up, I have breakfast, I go to the I go on a walk, after work I take a shower, I relax, I read a book, I go to sleep. Create yourself a structure. Try to follow a structure every single day. A lot of the times I'll go to the gym it's at, the, at the same time every single day. And people are like, why do you do that? Blah, 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 blah. Why don't you just come to the gym with me? I can't. I can't come to the gym later. I can't go to the gym later. You know, I can't go to the gym because you're already at the, like, uh, no, I have to go when I have to go. And that's just the way it is, you know? Remember to... I know I'm rambling, but I'm just trying to cover as much as I can. If you guys have any questions about bipolar or you think that maybe um, this is something I'm taking, actually. Uh, ashwagandha is actually uh, premium stress, energy, and mood, uh, healthy cortisol levels and stuff like that. It seems to have been helping somewhat. Um, maybe I'll give you a link if you guys need a link for that. Um, that's like a uh, natural thing, mood booster. But try to keep your environments clean, calm, relaxing, mellow music can help. Um, making sure there's lots of light in a room. You see the wall behind me? You see that color of that wall? A lot of people ask me, why the hell do you have a blue wall? Blue is a color that does not bring you depression and stuff. Used to always paint my rooms black black out the windows and everything and you don't want to do that when you're bipolar keep lots of fresh light in the room and I do it constantly I always black out the rooms and stuff and it's just a bad habit um, when I was growing up I used to do it with tinfoil and everything it was just really bad always leave lots of natural light get outside exercise drink water you know try to do everything that everybody else is doing on a regular basis be around people be social Sometimes I know maybe you're not the most social person and you screw up in certain situations. Whatever. Who cares? Just keep trying. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Don't tell yourself you can't do stuff. Tell yourself you can do stuff because you can be that person that can do stuff. You can build positive relationships. You can do things. You can help people. You can provide good services. You can you can be a good employee. You can, you can get your education. You can do all these things. Just keep telling yourself. Like sometimes you drag your own self down and it's just like, you can do anything, you know, and you can do anything. But remember also, because you have that mindset, sometimes you will go too far into you can do anything. So rein it back in and remember not to put too much on your table because that will chuck you right into a manic episode. So 
Although you can handle the world and you can conquer the world, remember you are a single person and be careful about trying to take on the entire world because you will stress yourself out and that's not good. You guys have a beautiful day. If you ever have any questions or want any kind of advice on dealing with yourself with bipolar or other people with bipolar, please ask. Um, I don't probably talk about it enough, but it's something that has always affected me and my family and generations, unfortunately, maybe generations to come. Have a beautiful day. Be stronger than your excuses. Remember to spread love, not hate. And remember, bipolar is just a thing, you know, that you have to deal with, just like anything else. So you're amazing. Have a good day.